Hello and welcome to another episode of MLB The Show 20 for your Minnesota Twins franchise. How you doing everybody? It's Eric, MN Twins 28. It's been a hot minute since we've done an episode of MLB The Show. It's been just a few weeks for me doing other things, cleaning up the channel, adding content to the channel, such as Power and Revolution 2019, which we'll be getting some more episodes here soon, I hope among other games that I'm looking to add to the channel. But I thought we'd go back to a Cornerstone classic on the channel and do some baseball. Uh, last time we were with with the Twins, um, we... What, did I, what game did I do? I think I did just one, and I didn't save it, or something went wrong with the video stream. I don't remember what it was. And then we played the Houston Astros. That's what it was. Yeah, we beat their ass. They're cheating asses. Uh, split that series. So here we are. Next series, uh, playing the Diamondbacks. And I got two games here against them in Arizona. And then we got finished the month of April. Starting a three-game set at home against Toronto to go into May. And then a three-game set at home against New York Yankees. And then take on the road on the a West Coast road trip for the Dodge. Uh, Dodgers and then the Padres so I got some interesting games coming up here four games set at home against Montreal so that's a cool one and then Kansas City Toronto and Kansas City again to finish off the home stretch and this game here May 24th is Memorial Day weekend 2021 I think we might do Memorial Day I'm not sure yet and then there's July, August, so. Ooh, San Francisco, that might be a good one. I have to keep my eye open on that one. Looking at the schedule here as we continue the final season of this franchise series. Since we did win the World Series, we're just going to wrap it up. Looks like September we got game against Col games against Colorado. That should be a good one. So, got some games coming up I'll figure out. But we're sitting pretty. We're at 24 and 25. We are the best team in all of baseball, without a doubt. Um, White Sox second place, six games back. Indians third, nine and a half. Tigers, and then the Royals bringing up a rear. Uh, let's see here. Yankees are in top of the East, followed by the Expos, Red Sox, Blue Jays, and the Orioles. Dead last again in the West. Los Angeles Angels, Vanaheim in first, only a game up on both the Athletics and the Astros. Rangers are eight games behind, and the Mariners bringing up the rear in the West. And in the wild card, the White Sox and Expos take up the first two spots, and the Athletics and Astros are half game back, by the followed by the Red Sox and Blue Jays. So it's a tightly contested American League wild card. Still early, though. we got a long way to go. Out in the National League East, the Mets lead that division by two games. Phillies in second, Nationals in third, Marlins and Braves bringing up the rear. In the Central, the Cubbies again are on top with a 20-8 and eight record. Brewers are in second, Pirates, Reds, and Cardinals finish out that. And in the West, so it looks like the Cubs have the best record in the National League. The Dodgers are 18 and 10, followed by the Padres, Rockies, Diamondbacks, and the Giants are in the last place. Meanwhile, in the wild card of the National League, we got the Brewers and Phillies taking up top two spots. Nationals, Marlins are in the uh, right behind them. Padres and Pirates and Rockies bringing up that. Here's a quick look at our injured list. We got hit pretty good lately. Junior Santos had a head contusion. He's day-to-day. -day. Ocedillo broke a finger. He's out for a while. As you all saw on the last episode, I think that was. Crawford tore and growing. Henry Montos fractured shin. So Bluha, who's took a serious hit in the outfield on injuries. Twins took a major hit with Ocedillo, which allowed us to sign Yadier Molina, I believe. Uh, let's go... Twins. Yes. Signed Yadier Molina right there at the top here. And then we shifted some guys around. So 
Uh, we're going to get right into this game here. Um, Devin Smeltzer is pitching for the Twins. He is actually 4-0 and looking good. So, pretty good. And we're going to be Arizona. Show theme. We'll have the roof open. It's nice. Clear skies. It's April, so it shouldn't be too hot in Arizona in April. We'll take Smeltzer. Everybody's rested up and ready. A couple guys quite, not quite full health, but yeah, we'll be all right. Let's see what we got here. Miles Straw, yep. Polanco at second. Turner's in third. Sano. Puig. Who are we facing? A right-hander? Yasiel Puig. Buxton in center. Corey Lee, he's turned around. He's up to 309. Lewis is still struggling. Hmm. Nico Goodrum's on fire. 371. Oof. I'm really concerned about Lewis. I really thought he'd be better than this as a hitter, but he's just not coming around. I'm going to put Arias in the game, and I'm going to make him the second baseman, and I'm going to put Polanco at short. Um, I gotta keep my eye on Royce Lewis because it seems like I've been following some other people that do Twins franchises and it seems like Ru Lewis struggles with them too and they end up flipping them so uh, which I don't understand because I've used Lewis before in other Twins franchises and he's done well so we'll see we are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Minnesota Twins and the Arizona Diamondbacks. Number 76 makes his big league debut right after this. One of my favorite stadiums in all of uh, the National League, and I can't wait to play Danny this game. Whitner gets the start for Arizona in this one. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, Matty, be a little bit of a mixed bag with this guy. An ERA of over four in his last three starts. I don't like he's the color scheme really of their uniforms. I mean, it makes it pop, the blue, but it's like the black and red and white just around. match really good together. They could just get rid of the blue Stepping and, in, like, go with red instead, I think. I like that Diamondbacks logo, evening. though. And we're underway as the first pitch is a check swing but a called strike, 0-1. Well, guys, you take a look at this Diamondback squad as they begin play here tonight. They continue to fall on hard times, losing again last time out, and that makes seven losses in their last eight games. Yeah, Maddie, this definitely Ooh. looks like a situation where just missed that one. Have to call a team meeting. I don't know if it comes from a veteran or the manager decides to close the doors for a second, but this team has not played well. They find themselves losing lately. They lost the last game. Right back up the middle. To get this thing and this goes right through him. And how about that to start a game? The mark of a great pitcher is the ability to put people away. All right, so here's Polanco. He wasn't he able to do it to start the game. Let's see if he makes the adjustment. Standing in now. There he goes. That's a strike to throw down. Way off. Skips in as he steals the bag easily. Well, I think he's making it pretty obvious why he's batting leadoff, isn't he? Works his way on base to start the game, and then does even better by swiping second to put himself. He's going to steal third here position. in a minute. Here. He's trying to make an impact from the get go in this one. And now the runner's trying for third. Pitch misses the throw down. It skips in, and he's safe. Close play, but he's in there. He's good. So is Buxton and Kirilov. They both have speed. All three have speed. Our oh, Royce Lewis too. That's what I meant. He pulls this one into uh, right. That's trouble. Oh, yeah, good fly. That'll you know, score the run. There we go. Polanco gave that one a ride. That was a good hit. All right, here's Justin Turner. He knows this team very well in his days with the Dodgers. And he's going to get a pitch to hit here. Watch this. Ripped it. Center field. He was on that one. God, he's been a great addition to this team. I am so glad I got him. Here's Sano. 
see if he can belt one out. Ooh. Leads at 20 homers, 386 average. And he leads the AL in home runs, it looks like. That one's not going to get out. Center fielder giving chase. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. And now here's a look at the Minnesota Twins starting lineup. Bero, what do you got on this lineup in the series opener? Yeah, Maddie, this team poses a lot of problems offensively. This is a scary lineup because they can beat you in a variety of ways. Not only do they have power in the middle of the order, yeah, here's Puig. But a ton of speed that can put some serious pressure on the defense. Next to bat will be Yasiel Puig. Oh, that was a bad. Briskly to short. Throw to second for the four shot, and the side is retired. Devin Smeltzer is ready to go as he'll be on the mound for Minnesota. 4 0. With a whip of 1.04. Unique pitcher. He is really tough to hit when runners get into scoring position, and that's one of the reasons why he doesn't give up many runs. We'll see if he can continue to do that in this one. Stepping up now, David Peralta. He'll lead things off here in the bottom oh, half. Oh, David Peralta still playing? Wow. Figure he'd be done by now. And this ball is crushed deep down the right field line. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. Wow, that was close. <laughs> First pitch, crushed it. One and one to the D-backs leadoff man. And guys, as we take a look at the Twins at the start of play here tonight, despite the loss last time out, they enter this one in good shape. Winners in seven of their last ten. Yeah, Maddie, taking a look at the standings right here. This team has a nice lead, comfortable. You always want to find yourself in a position where you're about five to nine games, got the advantage. You don't one series isn't going to totally kill you in the standings. And this team, this team's sitting pretty well. The one-two. Taken high and uh -oh. deep to right. Lay off Homer. Looking up. Jeez. Win the well with that could pitch too many times. Give up a bomb to the leadoff hitter. And now Nick Ahmed. He swings and hits it foul off to the right and out of play. He'll enter play here with an average of 314. Four home runs and 14 driven in. Hard liner to center field. Buxton is there and he has it for the first down. And now here's a look at the Diamondbacks starting lineup. Danny, who stands out to you? Yeah, one guy to watch is Cole Calhoun. He's been the fire starter for this team. Last 10 games, how about an on-base percentage of over 400? As he goes, so goes the team. He's playing great ball and making Oh, my it. God, another one. To left field and deep. And Jeez, what is going on back. with Smeltzer? These guys are just tattooing his hits. Boy, not his pitches. Start a game, right? First in, you come in, you give up two home runs. We'll see if he can regroup right here. It's not easy to something. Yeah, he was really rusty here from not playing for a few weeks. Off to the left side. On its way, the 0 1 pitch. Pop foul, and it looks like that's going to make it into the VIP seats. Oh. There's a good pitch. There for a called third strike, and there are two gone now. Beautiful backdoor slider for the punch out right there, guys. When it's tight like this one was, it looks like a fastball off the plate, then darts back at the corner at the last second. Locked them up completely with that one. So let's take a look at our umpiring crew in this one. Behind the plate is Joe McDonald. Hey, Joe McDonald, he's a tough guy to figure out sometimes, D-Roll. One inning, he'll be given that inside corner. The next inning, he doesn't give much of that inside corner. His zone fluctuates a lot. You know, Dan, you can see some definite confusion on the face of some hitters today. Questioning in the strike zone. One pitch is a strike on the outer half. The next time... There we go. So we'll give up two bombs and get out with a 2-1 deficit now. Two hits, no errors, and no one left aboard. So that'll bring in Byron Buxton. Here's Buck. In there for strike one, 0 oh and 1. Hot 
shot to third and handled for the first down. Boo. Okay, here's how the Snakes are lining up defensively. And let's focus our attention on shortstop Nick Ahmed. Defense is this guy's calling card. One of the slickest defenders in our game. Super sure-handed and doesn't get enough love on the defensive side of the ball. So now to the plate, Corey Lee. And he's carrying a batting average of just over 300. So clearly he's been a productive player with the bat in his hand so far. Not time. <laughs> In the oh, I crushed it, but center. it's right at the guy. Marte is there, two gone. Digging in, Luis Arias. The work on keeping this top of the second alive. First delivery to him on the way. Mine to the right side. Oh, of course. A good play by the first baseman to spear. Yeah, we're gonna quick manage. Hopefully he doesn't do anything stupid here. Good. Now at the plate, Devin Smeltzer. Nine, one and two do up. Here comes the first pitch. And a high strike there, 0 and 1. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. After it is Peralta. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first out of the inning. Well, obviously that was going to happen. <laughs> that or strikeout. Ready for another chance. Miles Straw. He reached on a single in his first try. Liner toward Considering right it was center. the pitcher. And another base and hit for Straw. For nice. Hit. Well, we're going to do what we did with him in the first the inning. Plate. Dan, as a station pitcher, to station, baby. Are you privy to this guy? I mean, he's been swinging the bat well. I know it's only April, but he's been using the entire field, staying line to line. That's what makes it so hard as a pitcher. Here comes another stolen base. Hopefully, they're smart to pitch out, and they did not. Whoa! Oh, they got him. Lousy jump. Come on, Straw. You can do better than that. I don't know about that. I think his hand was in. I think he got robbed there. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. You can definitely tell with that foul off right there that he's picking up spin on this pitcher's off speed stuff. Maybe expect a fastball on this next one. Can't quite get around in time to keep it fair, and it remains 0 and 2. Two outs, nobody on, but a base runner here feels like it would really change the complexion of the inning. Big spot. Here's a fly There's ball. a home well, run. Back goes Calhoun at the track. He can't get there, so the inning will continue. And he will pull into the Should have kept running. Damn. So he's quickly into scoring position now with a two out double here in the third. As he moves into double digits now, as we check out the team leaderboard, that is Come on, Turner. Stepping in now, Justin Turner. And, oh. and it's fouled away. God, I was late on that one. Think. Oh, I was early. I felt late. Come on, Turner. Fly ball out ah, that was field. lousy. Peralta's under it, and that retires the side. Twins wind up. All right, we'll go to the next inning. Good. Here's Miguel Sano. He'll lead things off here in this one run contest. Ripped it. All right. And that's a base hit in the left field. So it's a base knock to lead off their half of the fourth. He wasn't letting that one go. He jumped on the first pitch right there and drove it into the outfield for a base hit. Saw it coming. Come on, Puig. And now is Yasiel Puig. As he'll send oh, the man. The third. Well, he, he won't get him. Down. Maybe he can save. Good. All right, here's Buck. Here's Byron Buxton now. As he'll swing Oof. The first pick slider I picked slider, but it wasn't the right sp one spot. One spot. Line 
liner toward right side. That's trouble. There we go. And that finds the outfield grass for a base hit. Sano rounds the corner and is headed home. And he's safe at the plate. It's a 2 2 game. And now time will be called here as you see the pitching coach making his way. Hey, Corey, let's see if we can get him to drive one in the gap here. At the plate now, Corey Lee. He swings and sends a bullet to right field. Nice catch. He makes the diving catch. And not in time. Good job. That's just as good as a gapper. Digging in now. Luis Let's see if we get a rise to drive one in the opposite way. He's usually pretty good about that. That'll do it. Another good catch in a row, two in a row. Really? Come on. Guess you got to do something. You're going to lose your, lose this game and your crappy club. So. And next will be the pitcher, Devin Smeltzer. And he popped him up. Back into foul territory. Got to get on Sports Center somehow. Might as well make some diving catches. There's a hit for Smeltzer. All right. And the pitcher's got himself a base hit. Is that his first major league hit? Well, that's his sure first is. major league hit. There might not be too many more to come considering he's a pitcher, but I'm sure that's still a pretty exciting moment for him. Hey, listen, hits are hard to come by, Matt. I only had one in my entire 18-year career. One for 15, but hey, I still remember that one hit. Nice job, Smeltz. Payback for the two home runs he gave in the first inning. Straw drives it deep, but he'll be out. First time they've gotten him out today. All right. Now we're back in the driver's seat, which is good to see. Smeltzer's hanging tough now. He's settled down. I think I'll let him go a couple more innings. And this is the side of the plate this guy loves to hit at. Hitting over 350 left handed, hitting against right handed pitch. Calhoun is there and he has it. Okay. They threw sliders last time up, so we'll do that. God. Center fielder giving chase. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. Had a hard time getting those hits there for in and looking for more. Turner. Oh boy. Oh boy. So Ripped it again. But this will be foul. The pitch. Oh god, that was terrible. Kelly is there. And the inning is over. That was horrible so at bat. Okay. Let's go. Good. Got out of it. Yuan Lopez takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. In now, Yasiel Puig. He set to lead it off in the Minnesota end of the sixth. Goes the other way. Puig. Deep down the right field line. And this is oh, man. The out near the visitor's bullpen. And he will pull into second with a leadoff double. Talk about starting off the inning with the bang. Goodness. When this thing left the bat, I thought it was out of here. And I think he might have, too. Only made it to the warning track, but he glides into second base with a leadoff double. That was a good hit. Okay, here's Buck. At the plate, Byron Buxton. As he swings and misses at a first pitch. 270 basketball. average, not bad. That was my fault. I wasn't paying attention. I was looking at the stats to the right. And the next thing I know, there's a ball coming at me. Like, ah! <laughs> Pay attention, Eric. Oh, ball. Ugh. That was another slider. Yep. I like throwing that slider on Buxton. Torrey, Torrey Hunter Jr. swing and miss at those down and away. Buxton. Got one. All right. Buxton's going for three. Oh, shit. He's out. That was a bad idea. Oh, well. Got the run, though. That's good. 
to the plate now. Corey Lee. And a swing from him yields a foul pop out of play to the right. Lopez is a reliever known for forcing contact. Not a huge strikeout guy most of the time, but he also doesn't issue a lot of free passes either. There's a couple of keys to being a good reliever. One, if you have great stuff and you strike everybody out, or like this guy, not afraid oh, to throw the ball popped the it up. So he has good stuff, not great stuff. He's not afraid to let his defense and that help was him out nasty. In a few steps, All right, let's see it. here. There's Arias. If he can reach, we'll probably. Hold on a second. Uh, check something here. Is the bullpen going? No. Let's get. Get Trevor May warmed up. If Arias is out, we'll go one more inning with Smeltzer. There's a hit. All right. Well, Smeltzer did get a hit his last at bat. On the first pitch here and is able to extend the inning. Dan, how hard is it to massage your way through such a deep lineup? I mean, even the eight, nine hole hitters are solid big league players. You know, Mark, these days. Yeah, substitution. Yeah, I'm going to bring in. If you're in that starting lineup these days. You got a left, a uh, righty on the hill. So let's do. Goodrum. Nico Goodrum will look for some two out magic here as he'll pinch hit with two gone and a runner at first. Popped him up. Ugh, that was terrible. First pitch. What the hell? God, hit the pine there, Nico. Trevor May enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Settling in now. That was a terrible at bat. I was going to actually do a double switch, but forget that. So the batting order turns over. What are we? Eighth inning now. Seventh. Okay. Bullpen. I think we're fine for now. Let May go two innings. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Heading out towards shallow. Ah, that one's hanging too much. Has to come in a few steps, but he has it for route number one. Into the box now, Jorge Polanco. One for two with a double on the ledger so far. First pitch of the at bat. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Peralta is under it. Two down. All right, there's Turner, who's over. Oh, he's one for three, excuse me. He does have a hit. Another deep fly. Whoops. I accidentally hit the wrong button here. There we go. All right, good, good job. Okay, now we're going to eighth inning. Skip Romo warmed up. We got three righties. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. In Beat the, the shift. Field, line drive base hit. Nice job. In time, and he's in there with a double. The baseball's a game of streaks and runs, and he is on one right now. No question, he's swinging the bat very well of late. And when that's the case, you can't wait to get in the batter's box. Definitely the case in this game. That's two for three today. Nine. This one for extra bases. Ooh, here we go. Two hits so far for him in this one. Ripped it. Damn. Stop, but the runner is back to avoid the double play. He's Buck. Again, 278. He's just getting a, He's having a good year so far. It's nice to see. Yeah, and he wound up getting thrown out. But he hit the ball well, and he'll look to do the same thing again right here, boys. It was right up the middle. I'm not going to run. Sunil, nice though, he doesn't have the speed. Second will stay put at third, so they're runners at the corners now with one away. Standing in, I'm gonna let Buxton steal. First offering on its way. 
There goes Buxton. In there. Now the throw. It's going to be far to too late. That's a stolen base. Really forcing the issue with that steal of second. They already had the guy on third, so now two runners in scoring position, and there aren't any force outs other than at first. Pretty good chance to drive in a pair right now. And here's a ball hit in the air, but this will land untouched. See if he throws a slider again. Yep. Now the 0 2 pitch. Swing and a liner. And base hit. They'll score two. Nice job, Corey Lee. It's a 7 to 2 ball game. I mean, that had to feel good right there, Dan. That's his third RBI of the game and extends his team's lead. They might have this one locked up. Well, I'd say those are always big, those add on insurance runs. Right at him. Whoa! Right almost got it doubled off. But he's safe at first as he gets back in time. Uh, you may want to bring in a pitcher. Yeah, pinch hitter. Let's go with. Let's go with Lewis. Royce Lewis will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Number eight. Liner towards He's second. got a hit. All right. And that's in there. Base hit. Got a boy. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Kevin Ginkle trots in from the bullpen. All right, here's Straw. Top spot with two on and two away. So now to the plate, Miles Straw. That's right at the guy. Ah. There at second base and that'll no me gusta. Sergio Romo is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Ready now, Wyatt Matheson. He's still hitless in the majors after two at bats. Oh, and then he gets a double when they said that. Romo, what are you doing, dude? Archie Bradley. Okay, here's poor uncle. As he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the night. High fly ball out to straightaway center. That's going to be caught. Marte is there. One quick out to start inning Boom. number nine. That was crap. So coming to the plate. All right, Justin here's Turner. Turner. Head to head numbers against Archie Bradley. Not a big sample size. 0 for 1. This one's down to third. Oh, a diving effort as it's off his Ain't gonna get him. Throw will no, not be in time at first. A good effort that time, but not enough to prevent them from getting a one-out base runner. There's Sano. I haven't had a Sano daughter yet tonight. Could use one. Stepping in now, Miguel Sano. Nope. And he fouls this one off. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. Ooh. Out of just ramps up and here's the fast. He was behind on that one. Hey, this pitcher better be careful right here. My man at the plate is not trying to push something to the opposite field. That's not going to get a hit. That's not out. Oh, that's going to be caught. Calhoun is over to his right as he puts this one away. Two down. That was a lousy hit. So striding forward. This is the first game I can remember where we haven't heard a home run yet. Singled in four at bats in this contest. Almost hit one out with Polanco, but that's it. Nice rub by Puig. Puig has been. Whoa, he took the. Rounds third and is digging for the plate. He comes across. Misplayed that one. Buxton would have scored on that. A little bit of inside the park homer. This game could go on forever, or at least until he can get up again, because otherwise that is probably his last at bat of the game, leaving him one leg shy of hitting for the cycle. Regardless, he's had an incredible game. At the plate now, Byron Buxton. Buxton just continuing to hit well. Three for four today. Line to the right right side. to the guy. And a little self-preservation down at first as he... All right, ninth inning, baby. Here we go. Here's Jose Abreu. He's hitless in three at bats. What? How is that a ball? Bullshit. Fucking up. Pitch on the way. Now 
there's a comeback here back to the mound. Nice play. First to record the out. How about Paul Calhoun will stand in now. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. There's a strike. It was the same area I threw that last a one pitch. Of course, they did warn me about this umpire at the beginning of the game. Territory now behind third. Turner is there, and folks are starting to head for the exits now. You mean starting? They have already. They've been starting. They've been heading for the exits. The stadium's almost empty. See, there's another one. Come on, um. For the current campaign, Diligera is carrying a slugging percentage under 350. Needless Sinker. to say, he's not a big extra base hitter home run guy right here. Oh, this is two and one. Checked it. He's fallen oh, behind now, three and one. And this one misses. Shit. For ball four, Come on, Romo. A two out base runner. I'm gonna get that bullpen warmed up. Matheson, get Bruce Star ready. His career, having already collected his first hit, not a bad first day, huh? Yeah, you can never take this. Oh shit! No matter what happens in this fourth day, oh, he's gonna get his call. I jumped on that he's late. Every moment, every step that it took to get here, and the fact that he has a bat now, which when he wakes up in the morning, is huge. Go on to first here is gonna do it. And That's it. Twins, twins win. Series on the road as the ball game is over. Well, in a quick series like this, you take the first one, you're guaranteed at least the split. They'll Buxton was player of the game, two time. doubles, Eight, three, two RBIs, had Minnesota a three for five game. Great low. job. He's getting his average back near 300, which is good. So I think we're going to sim ahead here. All right, so let's go. Oh, God, another freaking injury. Shoulder tear. Connor Scott, whoever that is. Santos is back. That's good. Well, let's see who Connor Scott is. Which team is he on? Hi, I'm Justin Allegri, and this Red, is your Wednesday Red Wings, edition of center Inside fielder. the Show. Didn't I just Starting sign him? American League Central, the Minnesota Twins pounded out 17 hits in this one as they got a road win against Arizona, 8-3. The Chicago White Sox grabbed 13 hits in the game as Good they got the win gravy. in extras against the Bronx decimated. Bombers 8-6. The Toronto Blue Jays defeated the visiting Let's Tigers 4-3. take a look here. I could have sworn I called the somebody up in the three long balls outfielder. As they took down the Red Sox on the road 6-3. The Colorado Rockies Connor put Scott, together 10 total him. hits as they grabbed the win against the visiting Royals Well, we're going to have to go get another free agent because we're out. The winners over the Expos 5-3. Brett Gardner. The A's totaled 11 hits as they got the home victory the against starter? the Astros, 7 to 3. Rochester. The Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim launched nope, three home runs player. as they bested the Mariners in Safeco Field, 11 to 7. Victor Robles was fantastic at the plate, Wait a collecting minute. five hits, helping the Nats down the Braves, that 9 make 6. Sense. Hold on. The Phillies pitched well, allowing only three hits Why as they was crushed there? the Cubs, 13 to nothing. The Cincinnati Reds set three balls into the seats as they beat the visiting oh, Marlins. Oh, I looked at it wrong. Two. Yeah, we do need another Austin outfielder, Warner but not a starter. His first ever W at the big league level he as the Cardinals took care of the Brewers okay. four to three. I don't the believe we Dodgers have. Hit three long balls as they walked off to the yeah, extra inning win over the Pirates, the six to four. Lower minors. The win was their sixth straight as a team. So let's go. The New York Mets picked up. Wow. Jared Dyson. hits in this oh. one as they made short work of the Padres nine to three. Redick. The Texas Rangers allowed only five hits as a staff as they got the win over the Giants in San Francisco, four to two. Thanks for joining me. That's all for today. Same place, Xander same Wheel. time I think tomorrow. He was Enjoy twins. the games. We'll sign him. We'll sign him. Yep, and they got him on AAA. Okay, cool. So we're going to... We got that figured out. So let's sim ahead here. We beat them. We swept the Diamondbacks. We won Bauer five and one now. Good Thursday morning so let's to you, see Sean how we did it. Five let's to jump right into Wednesday three to two. We won that game. Two AL errors Central. though. We got to get our the defense going. Finished off a two game sweep as they got a road win against Arizona. We got a home three run, two. three RBIs. Wow. The Sox got 11 hits overall as they Was took down the Yankees. Was he one for three or one for four? 11 to six. 
The Tigers yep. combined for four. So I got one hit. He had three runs. Toronto, that's all he got. The uh, that's all the offense Indians we had. Wow. As a team, as they took down the Red Sox on the Trevor road, Bauer stole four. a base. Wow. <laughs> okay. Interesting. Escobar hit one against us. Former twin. Bauer went six and two, third inning. Had three hits in the contest. Struck out eight, the Expos walked three. The That's not good. To three. Too many walks. The Astros picked up Gratterall got his ninth save. As not bad. The A's in Oakland, eight to seven. And we have another injury. Campos. He'll be out for a few days. All right, let's finish this month off. Toronto, we lost seven to one. Not good. Another injury. What is going on with these injuries? Another loss, Toronto. And we won the last game. Okay, so I think we're gonna stop here. Smelters again, Bauer. We just seen Smelter, we seen Bauer and Syndergaard. Right revisit the news and events from so let's in sim ahead. Be, uh, we got shut out that game. Goodrum's out. Won that game 7-6. Bullpen had to save it. So we'll play the next episode. Hello there, baseball fans. Let's recap we'll take on the Yankees at home. Cindergard. The Minnesota Twins launched three home runs as they defeated so the we're sitting at 28 and 8. Six. Still looking okay, Malik even though we had that had an outstanding losing hits at streak the against the, the Mariners to a victory over the Jays. White Sox, nine to eight. He currently leads the American League in batting average. Larnick had a good April. Combined for ten hits as a team, as they beat the tribe Jason in Nunez had a hot two. bat. Mike Miner collected win number Weasler two on the year, struggled. leading the Rangers over Detroit two to one. Okay. Trevor Rosenthal won his first game of the season, helping lead the Royals to a win against the Padres two to one. Don't care what the Indians did. Completed a short two-game sweep as they took down the so Red Sox. So we're still sitting pretty. We're at five in a game, five and a half games up. The Expos up. allowed only five hits in the game. As Yankees they took down are in first place Jays, in their division. Five to three. We're still the, the class of the American League and class of the net of the whole in league in general. The Angels amassed 14 hits Cubs in the game are as they on our tail though for best record. Six to four. So we're gonna the leave Atlanta it at there, Braves I think. Only allowed two hits in the game as they grabbed the win against the visiting Reds, five to one. Danny Jimenez collected his first I think Everybody's this doing pretty good here. So. Next Miami, episode, five, uh, episode 11, we will take on the, the New York, ti uh, sweep, New York Tigers, New York in Yankees, over the Nationals, three to two. in the rubber game. Was their seventh win in a row. See who wins Bryce that. Was I think we the play them hands, later in the year in if we haven't already. Maybe we already Maybe have. No, we play them in the end of August. The Dodgers completed a three game so, series sweep. If you like this episode, hit that like button. Park, Leave a comment if you the like. Subscribe to the channel if you'd like to help out the channel with future projects. Six -game Head over to my Patreon page at patreon.com slash MN Twins28. And that'll do it for today. You Enjoy the game. Certainly we'll don't have to help, but any help would be greatly appreciated to keep this channel going. So until next time, peace out and go twins.